Hi, it's Hilde at Paperclip Agency and Com for Compass for Creatives. Uh, I'm telling a bit about how to get ready for after the lockdown. I was supposed to come to Oslo now to Inferno conference uh, to tell about passion and uh, burnout. Though, uh, well, the um, situation is totally different now. Um, that's why I tell about, a bit about Get Ready for After the Lockdown. Um, I work in the live music business as booking agent um, since 1995 at Paperclip Agency. We book European tours for artists from all over the world and uh, Dutch tours also from artists from all over the world. Um, more pop rock also cross over to hard rock, garage rock, world music, jazz, that, that kind of music. Um, next to that I started in 2012 to write about the mental health and mental challenges for artists and people in the music business at Compass for Creatives. Um, that's also why I was supposed to tell about passion and burnout. Um, though I think this uh, subject is much more important right now, so a short presentation about how to get ready for after the lockdown. Um, it's very improvised, but that's, uh, well, it's about um, re recently all the people working at home, the homework uh, results in more bore out than burnout. That's also one of the reasons why I thought, well, it doesn't make so much sense to talk now about burnout. Uh, that will come again when the business is full into swing again next year, when I hopefully will be in Oslo at Inferno conference. Um, so now about um, how to prepare for after the lockdown. At this moment, there, there's a big question mark for all of us uh, about the future, what this crisis will bring, how, how it will be in the future. There are many uncertainties, like um, if you have your own business, will your business survive? Well, for me, it's a very important question. It's, it's, um, I have lots of important shows lost for the next couple of months. So it, it's a big question. Also, uh, no one knows when this crisis will end and uh, what changes we can expect once it has ended. Uh, even specialists now are, uh, the, the virus specialists don't know how it will develop. Even they are guessing when talking about the future and, and that sometimes even makes us even more uncertain. So um, I'm afraid that's something we have to learn to deal with at the moment. Um, also, we can't really say uh, what artists will want after this crisis. They, uh, do they still want to fly, for example, or what the audience want? Um, are they suddenly into different kind of shows, into different kind of music? We don't know. Also, um, will people still buy tickets or will they buy online tickets for streamed shows? Or th There are so many uncertainties and um, it's easy to run away from them. But I think if you want to prepare for after the lockdown, you have to face all those uncertainties and also your anxiety. So. You can start with kind of getting control on the situation as it is now. Though we can't pre predict the future, we still can look at what are we facing now? How is the situation now? Um, that is for business, for example. It's, it's a good way to make lists, just to um, put everything on paper or uh, in the computer. To, but really to make lists about it. Like for business, um, how th how is the situation with your job? Um, do you still have your job? 
Um, are you still paid? Um, what? How long will you still have it? Or where can you look for new work? And um, just put all those questions and everything you know about the current situation on on paper in writing. Um, count your losses. What are your losses? For me, it's many shows that have been rescheduled. Fortunately, I was able to reschedule them just. Uh, earlier this week I got a note that that show now, that tour now also has been rescheduled and okay, and okay for all those dates. Um, so that's count your losses and then think also about can you make up for your losses? Because we all have losses in this situation. That That's also very important to know. You're not alone. We all have losses. We are all suffering from this situation, especially everyone in the music business. Um, so, can I make up for my losses? For me it meant to reschedule all the shows as booking agent, uh, though it also means that the income I will have them in a year, because two of those tours for May-June this year are rescheduled to next year May-June, so I will not have that income before then. And that's um, hard. Um, so another part of putting, uh, another impo very important aspect of putting in the current situation for yourself on paper is uh, to look at what financial help is available from government, from private, um, some are loans, some are gifts, where can I get help? to help me through these difficult times. That's per country different and that's also very important to put it in writing, to put it, uh, to, to be clear about that, to investigate what, where can I get help right now. Um, another list to make is about your mind. Uh, for that it's important to know anxiety at this time, in this situation is normal. We all share in that. We all have that right now. We all are anxious about how it will continue. So you're not alone and that, that's very important to know. Also important to know is that panic attacks, like <coughs> how, will, how will I able to be survive, um, they will pass again, they're temporary. Um, we all have that, well many of us, at least I have that feeling from time to time, like I don't know how, how I can survive with this, but it, it's um, important to uh, loosen up a bit about that. It, it's um, all those uncertainties, if we want to prepare for after the lockdown, we have to be able to face them. A very good source for facing them is on this website. Uh, there's a guide about anxiety in the music business. It's freely available from um, some music therapists, of therapists that work in the music industry in the UK. And they've made this, um, um, this paper available. It's, it's very helpful. Um, I use it for myself as well, so I can really recommend it to, to all of you. And that helps to deal with the anxiety we have at this moment. So for everything about anxiety, I'm happily um, referring you to that paper. Another list you can make um, Oh well, one thing more about the mind, also face that, uh, it's also important to know that homework, many of us now have to do with homework, that I'm happy enough to be at the office now, but homework also le often leads to conflicts and or to isolation and it's important to deal with that, to, um, to know that um, to be a bit more easygoing with things, things that could lead to conflicts 
and to um, work against that isolation that you might be in. Because especially at this time you need the support from other people. And with all the current uh, technology it's easy to find it online. So that's about the mind. But actions it's important to realize what is necessary to do right now. For example, rescheduling the shows that have been cancelled. For me that, that was very important, just to make sure that in the future the business will survive. Um, you can also think about what is there to catch up with. Um, I always have so many things that I don't have the time for and now I have rescheduled the shows. I hope in the next couple of weeks I will have time for reading more magazines, for listening to more music, for all this, that kind of thing. I will talk about it uh, later during this presentation. Another thing to make a list of is people. About your network. What network do you have? And often it's much broader than you think you have. It's not only the business network, it's also uh, your family, your friends, your neighbors. Everyone counts in that network. It's with uh, in the live music business, it's in, in the recorded music business, it's uh, with journalists, with everything. J just, just celebrate for yourself how big your network is. Um, and then you can look in your network, like who is there to, to support you. Often it's family, but it can also be friends or um, business colleagues to um, start new collaborations with. Or it's, it's, um, once you have mapped your whole network, it's easier to find who is there to support you. And the, third th uh, the second thing you can look for within your network is who is there that you can offer support to. Uh, because often that also makes you feel very um, it's very good for your mind if you can help other people. It, it makes us feel happy, it, it gives some boost to yourself and, and uh, doesn't need to be financial but can also be in other ways in, in offering advice or um, just, just drop in to check how someone is doing or th that kind of ways from um, connecting and yeah, just connecting can also be a way to support someone. Um, okay, so much about the lists and this link, uh, there's this online guide for people in the music business to fight anxi anxiety available, so I can really recommend it. The next one is, well, you can also look at, after the lockdown, if you first look at how it's now and use the current situation. For many people uh, it means, well, you might have been busy with rescheduling, maybe you're still busy, but after, for example, uh, th that is for people who are booking venues, for people who work as music um, booking agent, uh, for people who are artists and book their own shows, well, those rescheduling, it's, it's a lot of double work and, and you need to do it and you're still busy with it. But after that, until the end of the crisis, there will be still time uh, where you have more time than you used to be because all those shows are now not happening. A great thing to do is what I earlier already said, to catch up with many things like listening to music, like updating your contact files on the computer, like reading magazines, uncluttering your office, um, cleaning your house, all that kind of things. You can use it now to get prepared for later um, because it, it, it creates all those clutter, creates a situation of, of unrest, of um, sometimes even of anxiety, of not being in control and now you can use that 
uh, to get in control, though you don't have control about the future. Cleaning up your mess, for example, also uh, all your email files, cleaning up them, helps you to get a feeling of being in control. And that's very helpful in this situation. Another thing is uh, getting fit. That is uh, for body, for mind, for relationships. That is uh, business, but also personal. Um, start exercising again. I, I did it last week. I started again. Just a combination, something I can do at home or at the office. On a mat, like isolation mat from camping or yoga mat. A combination of gym and yoga exercises that keep me strong and lean. So it's half an hour a day that I already didn't mention to do it every day. But still, I started again and don't have a muscle ache anymore. So um, it's important also to get your body to keep or get your body fit. That will help you to be uh, strong and flexible also in your mind once uh, we are in a situation of after lockdown. An, uh, another thing you can use that free time for after uncluttering or maybe yes, break in between is to think about your values. What are your core values? They are important in the way you do business. Um, it's also, they also can lead you to the right way of how you want to work in the music business. Because after the lockdown, things will change. So we can make them change to the better, to be um, more fitting with how we are, how we want it to be. And um, a great way to know how you want it to be is to start with your values. Um, for me, and men strange situation uh, last January. Suddenly I got an email that I was nominated as Power Woman um, from an organization I didn't know. I didn't know what people were behind it. A new kind of award thing in the Netherlands. And uh, well, of course I was flattered. Like, yeah, yes, I am a Power Woman. Um, though when I asked the organization, uh, the sender of the email, um, a fake name that I couldn't find on Facebook or LinkedIn or wherever. When I asked for more information about the organization, I only got some marketing blah blah, and um, that was very unsatisfying. Then um, I talked with other people who were also nominated as Power Woman. They had similar feelings and. Um, in the end, I did know the people behind it, but they were still very mysterious about that organization. And then I decided to um, to pull back my nomination, so to refuse being nominated for that prize, because one of my core values in doing business in um, um, doing uh, coaching and giving lectures and everything is openness. And the, this, how this prize, this award was um, publicized, was so much against that kind of openness that I decided, no, I, I pull back. I don't advertise an organization that is so much going in against my core values. So that, um, gave me a lot of peace of mind. Though other people used it to, for, for self-promotion, I decided no. With that self-promotion, I'm also making, I'm also promoting that not open uh, organization that still wants to be so mysterious. It, it's, uh, it, it didn't fit. So th that's how I suddenly uh, realized how important values are. and. It, for, for me, it felt very good, even though I didn't use it for that self-promotion to act according to my values. Um, so think about how you want the music business to do according to your well to be according to your values. Also think about who shares your values. That can be a great point to um, 
make maybe new collaborations or think about new ways. And um, another way to deal with values is think about how you can incorporate your values in your work. If you can and how you can, which values you can incorporate and which ones is a bit difficult. Um, a fourth point on use the current situation is investigate. That's also a bit in catching up. It's uh, use that you can use the time to learn more, to investigate what bands are doing now regarding streaming, uh, what uh, new initiatives are coming up, um, what uh, how other people are dealing with the anxiety with that um, very with being hit hit in heart in this situation during due to that corona crisis reach out to other people and investigate how they are dealing with it uh, the fifth one is set goals and that's also a very big thing against a bore out um, with working at home we also lose the structure of going to work and meeting colleagues and all all that uh, gives a lot of grip to our daily life. Now we miss that. That's also uh, part of that bore out. And uh, with setting goals, you still can build. You can build your own structure um, in a different way, like setting daily goals. Like today, I'm cleaning up that corner of the office, or today, I'm messing. Uh, I'm. I'm looking into what emails I can throw away from years ago from that band or set goals to yourself. Um, it can be per day, per, per week, per month. It, it, it gives you a good structure. Uh, it can also be goals not only about uncluttering but also about uh, fitness like doing daily exercises, about learning um, start to learn a new language, uh, start to learn more about publishing, about um, booking bands, about a kind of uh, about a part of business that you're not that familiar with. It it's, um, gives you a huge opportunity to um, to move on and to still have some grip and structure in your life. And that's very important in this situation. Well, next page. As I said, very much improvised. Um, I do dare to do a bit of prognosis. Um, it's, it's actually one thing that all people who try to predict the future after the um, lockdown are predicting. It's, they, they all say it will become more local, it will become smaller, and um, I also translate it as it will be more the artist will come to the audience and less the audience that will come to the artist. That's also better for the environment, by the way, um, because, for example, for major festivals, the biggest environmental um, damage is done by all the audience that is traveling to the festival. In that sense, club shows might uh, get a huge revival after the lockdown because there the artist is coming to the audience and doing more shows. And, but that's um, maybe hopeful thinking because I'm very much in favor of the um, club circuit. Um, right now, many shows are already booked until summer 29 because all of the rescheduling it's going until summer 29. Uh, that's something you have to Im you have to keep in mind when making any prognosis. Um, that streaming will also continue. Many artists are now streaming, streaming concerts from their living room, from their bathroom, from their kitchen, from their uh, bedroom. I've seen it all. So it, it's a uh, at the moment a huge thing. It's, a, it's also a good way for artists to keep in touch with their audience, to engage their audience. So that's, um, that's also maybe something that the audience will expect in the future, that artists 
will engage with them more in a more direct way, that they have more interaction, that the audience will have more interaction with the artists. That's something to think about, how can we incorporate it in live shows, for example. Um, or also in recorded music. It's, um, I don't have the answers for that, but that's something I think it's important that now we have the time to think about that. Um, we also can think about the music, what, what music genres will be more um, preferred after the lockdown. Like, will it be more comfort, comforting music or more powerful music? I, I think the power of metal will definitely um, still be very important and also the community that metal music offers to the fans. Um, in general, I think the music preference will be more conservative, maybe a bit more in the direction of blues and folk or reggae. After the financial crisis in 2008, we had that uh, neo-folk revival with Mumford and & Sons and similar bands. So it's, it's, I don't know, might be something similar again, um, or maybe something totally new. That would be surprising. Um, so, uh, in general, I think it will be lo more local, more small and more artist to audience. That local also can help you to um, get ready for... Uh, the, to, to um, put more energy into your local network. That, that um, once you make that list of what your network is, concentrate also on the what local network you have and I think that will be very important to build on after the lockdown. Okay and then get ready again the local network, build on your local network uh, unclutter that gives you a clear mind to um, be more flexible and continue after the lockdown um, Look into your values, they make you more authentic and I think that will also be something people want after the lockdown and take some rest to have the energy after the lockdown, the energy and flexibility to react on how it will be. So I hope so much about how to get uh, ready for after lockdown. I hope it will be soon, but we don't know. Um, I wish you all the best, health and survive in your business and uh, in your job and then I hope to see you again next year uh, in Oslo at Inferno conference uh, and then I will talk about passion and burnout. Okay, goodbye.